Okay, briefly, because I am getting a little tired, we are going to go through some more of the basic moves that I want to do. This is called the Mean Girl. So I've got my hands and my hair at the elbow. I'm really sinking way into my hip that's in the front, and I'm jutting those hips out, lifting up the rib cage, and giving uh, attitude face. Uh, that's mean girl. What else? Oh, there's the bridge. That's pretty basic. Lying down, right, and pressing up. So either on the toes or whatnot. Um, with that one also, of course, will come, you know, leg lifts. And there could be lots of um, leg poses with the legs up, of course. So these we could all we could call all of these can can legs. I like that one. Yeah, some can can legs. Um, oh, the arch, right? So we could go from arch to ball to arch to uh, the archibald. <laughs> That's what it can be. The Archibald pose. Remember to pose in between. That'll help um, keep the face nice and relaxed. And then we can also do the rockable or archibald leg lift. There is that. Archibald leg lift. Boom. Boom. Archibald leg lift. Boom. Oh, I like that better. Archa ball leg lift for the abs. Go opposite way. Do the tap. Tap. Ooh, I like it. And the bicycle legs. Oh, oh, this is good. Girls, feeling it. Feel it. And those abs. Straight legs, of course. Oh, I'm a fit girl. Which is what we're wanting. Okay. So there's all of that. Any of the other basic moves? Let's see. Uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh yeah, from um, from my one of my videos that I put up. I noticed a lot of you were interested. And the pose where I had the hat. So, um, you want to think, you can see it right here too, but even without seeing the whole picture, you want to think about that opposite hip that has does not have the weight on it. You want to think about trying to drop it down as much as you can. That's going to help lengthen the waist. You can definitely see that. So, then what I did in the video is I had the hat, I allowed myself to lean out to the side to get more of a dramatic look but then of course you see these wrinkles here so that's when you want to think about again lengthening that hip down and you're lifting your ribcage even more to keep those wrinkles out and you could do little ab crunches twisting forward that's a toughie oh because it's already natural resistance with your hip in that position Ooh, I like that try going to the other side and we can lean it back and lift it up and we can even go more to the side and see how far over you can go without feeling like you're going to fall which this is all I've got and then coming back up and lengthening it up oh that's good okay so another thing that I'm doing to help is I'm pushing my bottom foot up into my top leg and that's actually helping me get more length on both sides which is very exciting and of course to the other side. <sighs> My hamstring hurts. Okay. Putting that foot under and going over and lift. Over and lift. Is this the oh the mermaid, you know, from Pilates? This was kinda like the mermaid. Oh you can also Oh, that's right, I forgot. Forgot, I forgot. This is something that I had to work on, worked on previously. So also in this position, allowing the arms to go out so you have a nice long line. And stretch it over 
and lift. You can practice just the elbow to get even more stretch. And think about, instead of using this bottom arm, think about trying to lift with your abs so that your arm is only following what your abs are doing. Then you can also reverse it and try just to use the arm. Some big noise just happened. Um, to get triceps. So all kinds of ways to do that.